There's been some questions on um, how to calculate the T score or the observed uh, T or the calculated T. So we thought I would do that together. I'm gonna to use this question. Healthy people dream on average 90 minutes each night. An investigator wants to determine if coffee affects this rate. He gives 28 people two cups of coffee before bed and monitors their dream states. He finds they dream on average 88 minutes with a standard deviation of nine. So let's go ahead and see if we can establish what our uh, parameters are. So mu would be um, the overall average of the population. So it says healthy people dream on average 90 minutes. So that's gonna be our mu. Our sample size is 28 because he says it's 28 people. Those 28 people report an average of 88 minutes, so that's our X bar. And our S, or standard deviation, is nine minutes. So let's go see if we can um, put these all into um, a, a formula so we can see how to do that. Okay, so I apologize ahead of time, my handwriting is messy. Um, but so let's say that the mu here is 90, we just established that. The X bar is 88, our standard deviation was nine, and our sample size is 28. So let's put that into our equation. Remember, it's your score minus the mean. In this case, it's our score is 88 minus 90, divided by the standard deviation, which is nine, divided by the square root of 28. So remember, I always tell people to solve from the bottom up. So the first thing we want to do is solve for the square root of 28. So I go to my calculator and I type in um, 28 in the square root, and I get, I'm going to start over, 88 minus 90 divided by 9 divided by 5.29. So make sure you know how to get this number in your calculator. Now we want to solve this piece here. So this is going to be 88 minus 90 divided by, and now I have to go to my calculator and figure out what nine divided by um, 5.29 is. So I find that this is 1.70. So now I wanna complete my equation where I have to do 88 minus 90 divided by 1.70. So 88 minus 90 is negative two divided by 1.70. I'll just move this down here. So my T equals, if I take negative two and divide it by 1.70, I get negative 1.176, or I can round that up to one point one, negative 1.18. So what we have done is to do our math, we have to solve from the bottom up. So some common mistakes that people make, I'll circle in red, is they think that this should be 27 here. So they think, oh, it's the sample size minus one. But actually we only use the N minus one when we're using our T table to find our rejection region. So here we will leave it as N and not N minus one. Another mistake I common see commonly see is that people forget that there's a divided line here. So they'll think it's nine times the square root of 28. Um, and so we want to make sure it's nine divided by the square root of 28. And lastly, another mistake I see is that people plug it into their calculator as 88 minus 90 minus nine divided by 5.29. That violates PEMDAS, right? So you have to solve them in order. And that's why I recommend that you solve it from the bottom up. Email me if you have any questions.